This video mainly explains some common issues that user encounter while using this inverter. Firstly, if you only connect the DC port of this inverter without connecting the AC port, the indicator lights on it will not illuminate. You need to connect both the AC and DC ports for the indicator lights to turn on. As shown in the video, now that you have connected the AC port, the indicator lights have turned on and started flashing rapidly. As you can see, currently, it is displaying a red light. This is because the voltage from the solar panel has not reached its specified requirement. At the moment, the voltage from the solar panel is below 16 volts, hence the red indicator light. If you increase the voltage of the solar panel and it goes above 24V, there might be a 30 second delay where the red light is illuminated. After the 30 seconds have passed, the light should turn blue, indicating normal operation. All right, let's connect the Wi Fi signal transmitter to it now. During the connection process, make sure that your Wi Fi is operating on the 2.4 GHz frequency band and the signal strength is above 80% and covers the area where your inverter is located. If you are unable to connect to the device, please check if the external antenna is loose or if there is a problem with your network connection. In the past, there have been instances where users accidentally pressed this button, causing the device to shut down with a solid red light on the indicator. However, this is not an error. When you click the switch again to start the device, it will resume operation and the indicator light will return to its normal state. Finally, when testing this device, please place your solar panel in an area with ample sunlight for testing. Avoid testing it on cloudy days or in areas with poor lighting conditions. The above covers some common issues encountered while using this device. Thank you for watching.